Do you know which animal is mentioned in the Bible more than any other animal? Maybe you could make a noise like the animal that you think it is. Like you could roar like a lion or growl like a bear or bray like a donkey or moo like a cow if you think it's one of those animals. What do you think it is? I'll give you a hint. Bah. Can you guess what it is? It's a sheep. Sheep are mentioned more than 500 times in the Bible, way more than any other animal. In fact, God often uses sheep and shepherds to help us understand how he loves and cares for us. I want to show you a good shepherd object lesson that uses the Bible to help you learn more about God, our good shepherd. Let's get started. The Bible says, Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. This means God made us and we belong to him. He is the boss and cares for us like a shepherd cares for his sheep. How does a shepherd take care of sheep? He feeds his sheep. Here, Fluffy, here's some nutritious grass. Nah, yum. <laughs> He leads his sheep this way, Meh. and the sheep follow him. He protects his sheep. You will stay back, 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 get back, hiya, hiya. He takes care of his sheep and he loves his sheep. Come here, Fluffy. Meh. Boing. Aww. A shepherd cares for his sheep. God loves you and cares for you like a gentle shepherd. He's the greatest good shepherd of all time. But sheep are foolish and they sometimes wander away from their shepherd. What might happen to a sheep that wanders away from a shepherd and gets lost? The sheep might get scared. The sheep might eat something that makes it sick. The sheep might get stuck. The sheep might get attacked by wild animals. The sheep might die without its shepherd. A lost sheep has big problems without its shepherd. You and I have an even bigger problem than a lost sheep. Like a sheep wanders from a shepherd, God says we have wandered from him. In the Bible, God says, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Instead of going God's way, we've gone our way. And God calls that sin. We wander away from God when we sin by doing things our way instead of God's way. Like lying, disobeying, cheating the way God says not to cheat. We do a lot of different things that God says not to do because we were born wanting to do things our way instead of God's way. We were born wanting to sin. Sin keeps people away from God and eventually it causes people to die and be lost far away from God forever in a terrible place of punishment. Sin is horrible. Like a lost sheep needs to be rescued by a shepherd, you and I need someone to rescue us from sin. We need a good shepherd. Dun, dun, dun. A good shepherd is willing to give his own life to rescue a lost sheep. And that's exactly what Jesus did for us. In the Bible, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus is God's perfect son, but he left God's perfect home in heaven and came to find and save people who are lost in their sin. He came to love people who felt unlovable. He came close to people that everybody else pushed away. He valued people who thought they were worthless. He even came to help people who hated him. He gave his life for people who are lost in their sin. The Bible says, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. Jesus is the good shepherd who gave his life for his sheep. He took the punishment for our sin. Transgressions and iniquities are Bible words for sin. And he took the punishment for sin by dying on a cross and being separated from God in our place. He laid down his life 
for his sheep. He was beaten and nailed to a cross even though he didn't deserve to be punished. He did it to save people like you and me who have wandered away from God like lost sheep. Earlier, I read the first part of a Bible verse that said, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. The rest of that Bible verse says, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That means that while Jesus was on the cross, God took our sin, laid it on Jesus, and punished Jesus for all the lying, hating, disobeying, fighting, stealing, and other sins of the people who had wandered away from God like lost sheep. Jesus bled and died on the cross in your place. He was separated from God so you can be saved and then he came back to life. Now Jesus is alive and he wants to be your good shepherd who saves you from sin and cares for you forever. The Bible tells us Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, I know my own and my own know me. Everyone who believes in Jesus to save them from sin belongs to Jesus and has a close friendship with him that lasts forever and ever and ever, longer than 10,000 billion years. He will take you to live in his perfect home after you die and will always be your good shepherd. Believing in Jesus means you know you've sinned against God, but you trust Jesus really is God's perfect son who really gave his life to take the punishment for your sin by bleeding and dying on the cross and coming back to life. When you've believed in Jesus to save you, he becomes your good shepherd forever and you become his sheep. When you've believed in Jesus as your savior, he is your good shepherd. And there are some big truths he wants you to remember. The Bible is full of big truths that your good shepherd wants you to know. And you can read the Bible to learn more about them. I wanna help you learn three of these big truths right now. If you have believed in Jesus as your savior, you can remember this first big truth. I belong to God forever. Can you say that to me in a small sheep voice? Ready? I belong to God forever. Good job. You can also remember this big truth. God is my good shepherd. Can you say that to me in a big, deep sheep voice? God is my big shepherd. If you have believed in Jesus as your savior, you can also remember this third big truth. God will always care for me. Can you say that with me in a slow sheep voice? God will always care for me. Knowing and enjoying God as your good shepherd is what's best for you. Jesus is the good shepherd who gave his own life to save you from being lost in your sin. You can believe in Jesus to save you from sin and trust him to save you and care for you like a good shepherd cares for his sheep. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to know more about Jesus, you can find lots more videos and lessons about Jesus at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. Families and churches can also download a free copy of this Good Shepherd Gospel Object Lesson and use it in family devotions or Sunday school. It includes a coloring page craft that kids can use to make their own miniature copies of the sheep and shepherd characters from this object lesson so kids can share the good news about Jesus, the Good Shepherd who gave his life for his sheep. At kidsenjoyingjesus.com, you can also download a copy of our free activity guide, Enjoying God My Shepherd, and the free printable devotional book that goes with it. The activity guide has 90 more activities, object lessons, and Bible games to help kids learn what it means to know God as their good shepherd. And the devotional has four weeks worth of printable devotional pages for kids. I'll share links for all these free resources in the video description below. You can find them all at kidsenjoyingjesus.com. Thanks for watching.